people that the police uh, play in the day-to-day -day reality of poor people and people who are homeless. Um, we see it on Hastings Street every single day. The police go up and down the street. They steal people's belongings. They give people bullshit bylaw uh, tickets for vending, for jaywalking, for peeing and pooing in the alley when they don't have a bathroom. They criminalize people who use drugs. They create this problem. They create and exacerbate homelessness at a huge expense to society. In Vancouver, our police budget eats up uh, roughly 30% of the total city, city budget, billion dollars. Um, so why would we think that fund, giving more funding to the police is a good way to deal with the homelessness problem? And from what you're saying, basically it's paying police to be social workers. How is that a good idea? The police could make, Not a good um, idea. Could make internal decisions um, that would support reducing the criminalization of poor and homeless people. There's lots of things that could be done internal to police departments to simply stop all of the harm that they're causing. The idea that somehow we provide police departments with more funding to supposedly alleviate those harms is absolutely absurd. Mm -hmm. No answer. No answer. There's Sean. In your list of partners, I didn't see if there was like a financial partner. So, is like, what is it? There is. So that's, a, that's our that Ministry of Social Innovation. Sorry, Poverty Reduction and Social. That's innovation. our. That's our money that you should all be getting. And they handle. Uh, so we we engage in that financial discussion to see where they are. Um, and it, it's, again, we want to be able to do something in the moment. Mm -hmm. So if, if there's something that we can do, I have a ministry worker there who actually has the technology to begin that account if they haven't. So, you, and there are various levels, basic increments of, well, BC, basic, people with disabilities, uh, there are a couple of others, and then as you get older, you know, where I'm going, Old age security. So you're saying somebody yeah. actually on the ground, like with your team, re like remotely, or somebody yeah. in an office? No, somewhere. with us. Are they in okay, office here? We've been trying um, to do it here in Edmonton. We've just um, started a big encampment response yeah. um, here in Edmonton. We got a city bus uh, that was traveling around to different campsites with outreach workers and healthcare workers Sorry. and we have to talk um, to staff from. Um, our works, which yeah. would be our benefits provider, and then also uh, bylaw and EPS as well, because we could do like money, lots money, to money. peers directly on the bus with EPS, and we could get people hooked up on our works. So finance is right on the bus because people what don't want to leave their things or their pets and all that kind of stuff. So actually leaving physically the camp is a huge Take the pet away. Right. Take the home um, away and get a job. We no one wants don't know how to kind of keep that up long term. So I'm just interested in how you were able to get the, that financial um, piece to actually be on the ground with you. Because that's not really a part of their mandate at all, right? Except um, now it is. They took money from so BHA. What started is that particular ministry has started a group um, known as Community um, Integration Specialists. Vancouver and Island Health Authority was cut and the funding was shifted over to the police. Um, and they do so. Uh, however, that uh, in, the, in the wake of, of the work that we, and I'm not saying the work that we did precipitated this, however, it's remarkably aligned with what we were doing and it is specifically uh, new terms of reference were provided them, and they had to recompete for those positions to say that's what I want to do. Yeah, we've also brought out um, uh, students, uh, whether they're UVic students, um, including uh, folks that wanted to work for BC Housing, as an example. We've, we've taken those folks out so that they get a first-hand look at the transition be a from problem. where we can go from absolute. Uh, they work like they're in a jail instead of a shelter. They have like a little like area they sit in and watch TV monitors and everybody in the hallways. Do? What are all the pieces that need to be put together, and I'm including the social uh, pieces too, because simply putting someone in a box is not the solution. You're going to gonna survey them to too. Surveillance. So you're actual like governmental change where they they have like putting government people on the front line. Yeah. And, there, and I'll admit there was discomfort with the first night outreach that we did uh, where they were asked, um, 
we're just not sure if that's going to be a thing that we want to do. But they did it, and then they because they their, could. Um, their terms of, or sort of their job description to reflect it, and then <laughs> recompete it for it. I'd really like to know how you made that happen. 